Hey guys, Mrs. Coleman. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be talking about measurement. We're gonna be talking about measuring liquid and measuring mass. So the last, the last two lessons um, in our math book and in the, what we've been working through in the interactive student edition, if you've been able to get on there, has been about measuring liquid and measuring mass. So we're focusing on liquid on a liter and using that as um, a form of measurement how much is that liter? Are things more than a liter? Or are they less than a liter? Um, and then on mass, it's focusing on grams and kilograms. So when would we use grams? When would we use kilograms? So we have here one liter of water. Now, as we look at this liter of water, I know it's kind of hard to see because of the light and all that, but there is one liter up to this one liter line. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do an experiment right here in my kitchen um, to see if this cup, this glass, this mermaid cup, and an empty milk jug to see is it about a liter, less than a liter, or more than a liter. Excuse me. If it is about a liter, then we know that it's going to be about even. If it's more than a liter, then there's going to be a bunch of, at least some empty space. Um, generally, if something is more than a liter, there's going to be quite a bit of empty space. And then if it's less than a liter, it's going to pour out everywhere. So as this could be a little bit messy, we are going to be doing it over my sink just to be safe. So we're going to be pouring our water in. I'm going to try to not spill it. Pour our water into our empty milk jug. Almost there. Ooh, I'm doing pretty good. And as we can see, you can see that it is not even halfway full. So our milk jug is definitely more than a liter. So when we measure liters, and I, when I think about how much a liter is, I often think about um, just a, your typical bottle of water is about a liter. It's not exactly, but it's about a liter. So um, let's move on to the big glass. Mr. Brad loves this glass. It's one of his favorites. So we're gonna see about how much liquid is it gonna be about a liter, less than a liter, or more than a liter? Ooh, now here is a good example. Okay, so we it is definitely less than a liter, but there's really not that much water left. So even though it doesn't hold exactly a liter, does it hold about? A liter, remember about is our grandmama word, where we're guessing and saying it's close to. So even though this doesn't hold exactly a liter, it does hold about a liter. But if we're gonna be measuring exactly to that specific measurement, it would be less. But if we were gonna round it up and get to that approximate amount, we'd use that grandmama word and say about. I spilled a little bit of my water, so I had to fill her back up to that liter mark. All right, so now let's come to the mermaid cup. Well, hmm, if we are to compare our mermaid cup and our big glass, knowing that this didn't actually fit the entire liter, do we think that the mermaid cup is going to be about a liter as well? Will it be less than a liter? Will it be more? Hmm, what do you think? All right, let's find out. Here we go. I'm gonna try really hard not to spill it. And, um, so now we're overflowing and if we look, there's still quite a bit of water left in my measuring cup. So would the mermaid cup still be considered about a liter? Is it close to a liter? It's really not, is it? So it really wouldn't be considered about a liter. It would be less than a liter. All right, so now let's move on to our little fancy cup here. 
All right, what do you guys think? About a liter, less than a liter, more than a liter. Hmm. All right, let's find out. Um, so now we're overflowing. Whoa, we still have a whole bunch left. Definitely, definitely less than a liter. So when we're thinking about liquid, we're thinking about, is it about a liter? Is it less than a liter? Is it more than a liter? How much can it hold? Okay, so that's what that lesson is all about, is really just making those connections with what we already know to what we can learn. So now for our next um, demonstration, if you will, we have a bag of flour. We have a package of Thundup. And we have a little bitty cupcake paper, okay? So um, when we have these, we're not gonna be thinking about liters anymore because they're not liquid. Liters we use with liquid, but when it's not liquid, we're looking at mass. We're looking at how much mass is in something. So a way to do that is to see how much it weighs. It's how much weight does it have. So we can either measure in grams or kilograms, okay? So one gram is about a small paper clip, okay? So one small paper clip is about one gram. Again, that's that gram on word. It may not be exactly a gram, but it's very, very close. It's about a gram. If you had 1,000 little paper clips, then you would have one kilogram, okay? So 1,000 small paper clips is one kilogram. So the way that we can think about do I use grams or kilograms is how heavy is something? If it's gonna be really light, then we're gonna use grams. If it's gonna be really heavy, then we're gonna use kilograms, okay? So one of the things that I like to kind of think about is I think about a bucket, right? So, so I have, this dirty, unfortunately, pink bucket. It's completely empty. It is super de duper easy to pick up and to move around, right? It's empty. If I were to weigh this, I wouldn't want to use kilograms. It's not very heavy. It's empty. If it was full of water, I might use kilograms. But because it's empty and it's really light, I would use grams to measure this in weight to see how much mass it has. But then, here, I'm actually going to bring this over here. Then over here, um, we went to the beach a couple summers ago, and because we're somewhat of procrastinators, have not actually done anything with these seashells that we picked up, and we found a whole bunch. So, I'm going to sit down here on the floor. We have this huge 